So welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today is going to be a video showing you how to claim your Ark Survival Evolved official network 2023 server saves as they are now are available that Wildcard have tweeted on Twitter. Now apparently there's something going on with the saves at the moment. You can go on and like check out how to do the information and stuff. Um, I, but I think something's gone down. Uh, <laughs> it's classic that is. Um, but I'm just going to be going through all the information, how to claim it, what you need to do, um, because they've done a full post of how to do this stuff. Now I hope this video does help you out. If it does, as always, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here because it supports the channel so much. And another thing, um, as I am sponsored by Nitrado, I have been for like five years. Um, if you want to get your server for this, which basically means you can move your official server save, something you don't want to lose, um, you can move that onto a Nitrado server. The link will be in the description down below if that's something that you guys are going to be doing. And you, and if you're not, if you're someone that doesn't want to lose out on your official servers before they close on September 30th. So let's get in with the video talking through everything. As you can see, Ark Survival Evolved tweeted, 2023 official uh, network server saves are now available. Check out the link below for more information on downloading or hosting a server. Now, literally about what I would say 30 minutes afterwards, they tweeted, we've temporarily taken down the PC saves and are working to get them back up as soon as possible. Everyone was sort of laughing a bit because like as soon as, as soon as that tweet was put out, it was like taken down. So I'm not too sure. I don't think they're back up yet, um, but it'll be worth obviously if you're someone getting one of your, getting a server to prepare for when you can grab your PC save because as soon as this goes back live, um, um, you will be able to do it and move it over, which means you won't lose anything. So this is the link, as you can see here. So below, below we've provided a list of saves uh, for depreciated legacy servers from our, our great migrations, as well as the currently live legacy PVE servers. Players can download these files for use on local single player or upload them to a server to play at any time. Oh, that is good news. Good news. So you can actually have it for single player too. Over time, if we end up repurposing more legacy PC servers due to inactivity, we will ensure that these uh, that their save files are accessible through here. We will also provide newer versions of the live non-depreciated legacy PVE servers from time to time. To find your official PC save file from the list, just hover over to the drop down menu and scroll through the list. You can also hit Control F on the keyboard and type your server name or number to quickly find your server. Dedicated and single player slash non-dedicated players can use the provided configs along with the save files to simulate the settings used for our official Conquest servers. So as you can see right here, Nitrado servers using the official game saves are now available. You can go, as I said, link in the description down below, which means you can go and get your server. Um, and you can also use the promo code 20% uh, off using Save Your Arc. This will give you access to all official save games from the platforms PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Easily import save games with one click via the web interface. Have access to comprehensive guides and FAQs that will tell you everything you need to know about hosting servers. Um, and, and also they note that the above promotional offer is not available for Xbox. I think Wildcard are going to be going on about Xbox in a future date of how you can move that over from the Xbox onto. But the Save Your Arc discount is only available for PC and for playstation you guys know how nitrado servers work for xbox it's through the online page i still don't know why they haven't sorted that out um i i just don't get it so um, i'm sure they can explain that to you so 2023 server saves 2023 save should be uh, should uh should be run oh yeah it should be run yeah with the following launch arguments which is new saved format um, and then like dash use store for servers. They can be added as a server launch perimeter for single players as, as dedicated as non dedicated. The perimeter will need to be added as a launch option in your client. Extractions for Epic and Steam are provided below. So for Steam, you go to library, right click on Arc Survival Evolved, properties, general tab, 
launch options and paste the command line in, which is new save format use store. For the Epic Games, you go to library, Arc Survival Evolved, click the dot dot dot, um, and then uh, obviously for settings, toggle on launch options, paste in the command line, new saved format, you know, dash use store. So as you can see, you can on this page, you can hover over the server list. This is for conquest. Um, this is for the uh, legacy servers. This is for legacy PVE. And this is for the um, hover for the August 2023 server list. This is all the servers that are, are literally here. And you can find your server, as I said, by doing the, um, was it control F, right? Yeah, control F, which then you can easily find your server and click on the one that you want. I, obviously, it's down at the moment, as you can see from there. Uh, did I just click off of that there? I did just click off of that there but as you can see when they're back up you'll be able to click on that and it will take you to where you can access your saved file to download so that's pretty much how it is going on um yeah it's it's an it's a very interesting time at the moment i, I know i say that so much in my videos but it just feels so wrong but so right at the same time i guess the reason why i say it feels so wrong is just because you know in less than a month's time in 30 days well 29 days time the arc survival evolved official server network will be down forever so this is why you need to get involved grab your servers if you want to move it over to a nitrado server so you don't lose it or single player and uh yeah this is what's going on and it's uh it's weird it's just i it, the reason i say it feels right is because i'm excited for the next journey with asa and i do feel like within the new game we're gonna have a lot of fun with what's going to be added in especially mods that's one of the things i'm mostly excited for to get involved, guys, as I said, links to the PC servers in the description down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments section. If not, then obviously throughout that link on the Studio Wildcard Twitter page, um, it will take you straight. I will post this link as well, actually, for you guys. Um, so it's easy access rather than you. If you don't have Twitter, you can find it in the description of this video. Um, anyway that's everything to do with server saves as for the rest of the news within the community and by the way in my next couple of videos i'll also update um when the pc saves go live i'm guessing it won't be any longer than a, i'm hoping it's going to be for, for the morning in the next maybe in the next eight to ten hours maybe 12 they'll be back i don't know i really don't know how bad the issue is um but yeah for the community crunch i'm just going to quickly cover over the ascended news so um as you can see we uh, the shastasaurus one and it's going to be added to the center i also wanted to mention that extinction is most likely going to be the new map um, for the creature vote the reason i say that is because the first one was scorched earth the next one after that was a free map then after that it was aberration then it was the center and then it's going to be extinction then it will be another free map then it will be genesis part one then another free map then it will be genesis part two and then obviously any other free map that they haven't done a creature vote will come after that that's kind of the way that they are doing these maps in between all of the paid expansions wow okay so that's pretty much i think all you need to know that's more stuff about the official server saves classic pvp season seven started on the 28th of august so that's been two days now two to three days about two and a half days um obviously that evo event ended but prepare your guys uh prepare yourself guys that's what i was meant to say all these talks about i don't even what what's even this going to be going on about hello been on arc survival World since 2017 i've bought the game and all the expansions i'm on xbox one and i can't afford to buy another game system all the years i put into the server and the game is just going to vanish if you already have the game you shouldn't be discounted for all users that have already had the games. I have all the games. I understand it's going to be Unreal Engine 5, but I still don't want to pay for the game all over again. What will you do for Xbox One or PS4 players? And how will the server save uh, save our dinos and buildings? Yeah, I guess that's another huge point. I'm kind of glad I clicked on that there because that is a huge point. I, you know, especially, I don't, I think, so for, for your server save, I think, yeah you're gonna be fine for that right so 
um, because it's not the, it's these these servers are for the Ark Survival Evolved game. So you will be able to still host your own servers fine and still grab your saved file. If you can't move over to Asa yet, that's fine because your official server, you will be able to play on the Survival Evolved version. Ark Survival Evolved isn't being deleted. It isn't disappearing. It's not going to vanish or anything like that. It's just the Ark Survival Evolved official servers. So single player, dedicated, non-dedicated, that's all going to be fine. You just have to grab your save server, either move it to single player or move it to a Nitrado server. And then all of a sudden you will be in that world no lost dinos, nothing like that. So I just really want to make these videos as clear as possible because I don't want anyone to lose anything. That's like one of the worst, worst feelings if you're an ARC player. Um, and uh, yeah, we've all been through that. So to lose everything from years and years of hard work is something that we do not want to happen to our community. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope I went through that as clearly as possible. If you did enjoy, smash the like button subscribe make sure to grab your servers if that's what you need to do let me know as well are you going to be moving to an atrado or are you going to be moving to single player um luckily for me um, my official server um like stage finished a while ago so i don't need to worry too much about this because mine is all non-dedicated already um so um i'm not starting on official again until survival ascended um so yeah that's pretty much the way things are going um let me know what what your feedback is in the comment section you guys know i love reading through that either like subscribe i'll catch you in my next video